Man, it's been a while. I mean, it's really, really been a while. It's like five weeks. This is the longest um, it's ever been since I uploaded a video, since I think I started my channel and I wasn't even doing YouTube full time. It's been extremely long. I mean, it's been so long that uh, it, it's like spring outside. <laughs> it wasn't spring the last time I did a video. It's been so long. Our dog's not even a puppy anymore. I mean, it's been so long that PGA people almost like Phil Mickelson again. I mean, if you're not a golf lover, you won't even understand that part, but yeah. You guys get the point. Um, I don't think I need to drag it out much longer. But before we get into today's video, we gotta fix a minor little problem that we're having with the RS7. So it's leaking air from uh, this tire right here. But the good thing is that we actually have a solution for it. So these P0s on the RS7, is supposed to be 45. PSI all around. Now when you're driving the car around uh, and it you know it gets heat in the tires they usually go up to around 48. This one now is I think it was like 28. So it's definitely leaking air and I, I'm not sure what's happened. I, I haven't been able to find uh, like a nail or anything in the tire. Um, this has happened though. I hit a pothole. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, this little scrape is from. It might have, I don't know, have something to do with that, but the tire is leaking air for sure. But the cool thing is that I picked up one of these. It's a portable air inflator for tires. It's the Fantic X8 Apex. This thing is awesome. It weighs about two pounds. It's as big as like a, a Coke bottle. And we're gonna be able to inflate the tire here. So we're gonna turn it on. I already have it preset to 45. I'm just gonna screw this in here. It comes with different adapters depending on what kind of valve stem you have. So yeah, and you guys can tell right now it's 29 PSI in the tire. I have it preset to 45, so we're just gonna push this button. So we're gonna see how long this takes. We'll let it inflate up to 45 PSI. Currently at 32. So while that's inflating, uh, we'll take a look at this real quick. This is a T8 Max. This is to uh, jumpstart your battery. This thing is awesome. It actually will charge a bunch of other stuff like iPads and all kinds of things. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I don't have a dead battery, so we don't really need to use it. But yeah, this thing is awesome as well. All right, so yeah. I filled it up to 45 PSI. It just took a few minutes. This thing is awesome. It's great to have if you're, uh, you know, on a road trip or whatever and you get a leaky tire. So, I mean, eventually I'm gonna need a new tire, obviously, but uh, at least I don't have to drive around with, you know, no air. <laughs> Man, this car rips, I love it. Now, Fantic is actually the primary partner of Cal Weatherman, the uh, NASCAR driver. And if you guys want to check this tire inflator out, you actually save 25% when you use the link in the description. And if you want the, the battery booster jump starter pack that I showed briefly in the video as well, you actually save even more. That's 40% off. So uh, check out the links in the, in the description if you guys are interested. And thanks to Fantic for sponsoring today's video. So yeah, it's been a very long time since I uploaded and uh, you know, the reason I'm making this video is because I feel like I obviously owe you guys an explanation. Uh, your followers, you're expecting videos and so on. Uh, and I haven't been uh, producing that for you. <laughs> so uh, you know, and when you have a YouTube channel, you do you know, create some sort of a relationship with, with your followers because they follow along in your life and the videos that you're making and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, people do get engaged, and I understand that. So when I first started making YouTube videos, I never thought that, you know, this is gonna be something that I do full time. Um, you know, I was just doing it because I was working at a car dealership, and I was hoping that people could see my little 30 second walk arounds of a Ford Focus and find me on the internet and come buy a car from me. <laughs> Very naive uh, thought there, and I've covered this in, in videos before, so i uh, not gonna go into that very much either, but I always wanted to be able to do something online, like work from home, like laptop lifestyle type thing, and I never thought it was gonna be YouTube, but then uh, when it kinda dawned on me that, wow, you can make money off of doing these videos and stuff like that, which I didn't know at the time when I first started off. Uh, and, and you know, long story short, everything just culminated and here we are. Like I've done YouTube 
uh, full time since 2017 and it's an absolute dream it's awesome I, I love it but things change when it becomes your job like your full-time gig and as a, you know a youtuber someone that's in front of the camera you're not allowed to have a bad day I mean unless you want to make a video about your bad days and I don't I, I really don't but now I feel like I, I, I owe it to you guys to explain somewhat what's going on um, it's just that if I if I don't have the same energy in front of the camera then you guys will know and you'll start asking questions and stuff and I know that I completely understand that so when I make videos I want to be in the right frame of mind I want to be you know upbeat I want to be in a good space I want to you know have good energy in front of the camera I don't want to be all moping around and stuff because I hate that it, it just sucks but I've been going through some some uh, things that really aren't related to the channel they are separate like business ventures that uh, I dove into and uh, long story short just didn't work out um, for different reasons um, and I'm not really ready to talk about that fully uh, yet and hopefully I never have to really talk about it because it's a whole huge can of worms and like for me the can of worms is, is already open but it can of worms for other people as well and you know I don't, I don't really want to do that um, be, yeah I, I just I don't want to do that but you know I'm a nice guy so <laughs> I, it's very hard to explain this without actually talking about it, but what it comes down to is that it kind of, it affected me pretty uh, hard, and uh, I felt like I needed to take a step back. Um, and it's not that I wanted to do that; I felt like I, I had to, I needed to take a step back, and um, uh, yeah, because I wasn't in the right mind frame. I, ju I just wasn't. I wasn't feeling good at all. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if I had tried to like force some videos at that point, and they would have just completely sucked, and you guys would have just been left with a bunch of like, what the hell is going on here? Like I said earlier, when you know you're affected mentally, as someone that's in front of a camera, you're a content creator. Um, it, it's hard to make videos it just it, it is because you know you're not in the right frame of mind and you're kind of like faking it and I don't want to fake stuff you know I'm during the whole time that I've had this channel I try to be as transparent as possible you know with everything like my life and you know the financial side of it and stuff made a bunch of videos about that now the finances are bad they suck um, and again, it's not really because, you know, all oh, the ad revenue is down on my channel, which it, it is, but it, that's not the part. It's completely separate business ventures where, yeah, it, I was told certain things by people and it just wasn't the truth. So uh, it, it affected me big time and yeah, I, I just, I haven't been able to make videos. That, that's the, that's the gist of it. And I, I know that this, God, these videos suck ass to make. They, they do. They're, it's so boring. I mean, it's not something exciting and fun. But I, I feel like I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation of why I've been gone. And just be open and honest with you guys that I haven't been feeling very good mentally. Um, I, I was sick, like, once physically as well. But th that's besides the point. I can still make videos when I have a cold, you know. The, but it, it's really been the, the headspace part. Um, and but the thing is though like I, I don't want to make a somber negative video I think that something good will come out of it because I think that every trial you know uh, works for you in a way uh, especially if you if that's your mindset that you want to come out of it stronger and so on so that I do believe that that that's gonna happen it's just that I've been in a bad spot and I haven't really been able to make videos because of you know just I haven't been me so yeah, that, that's where I'm at. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know uh, kind of where you know I've been. I haven't really been anywhere. I've been at home. I did take a quick trip to Florida and back, but I've been home uh, and not really doing much. And these periods, I mean, they're tough. Like you never expect this. Like I said earlier in the video, like I never expected to be at this point where I do this full time and you know, uh, and then you get to a point where you feel like you can't make videos. Uh, that gets hard, you know what I mean? Because it is your, 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 how you make a living. 
Um, it's not like I can call off and then make like sick days and still make, it doesn't work that way. You know, when you're a business owner, it's, it's all on you, uh, all the time. Um, and you know, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. So, uh, you know, we're going to keep moving forward. Uh, I don't know when the next video is coming out. I'm, I'm not planning on being, you know, gone for another four or five weeks or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I definitely want to start pumping out videos again, but there's some things that I got to deal with. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sitting here just talking and talking. I feel like we're not really getting anywhere, but hopefully you guys have some kind of insight into uh, you know where I've been at, like mentally and headspace wise. So uh, yeah, I love you guys for always sticking with me. Um, you know, I, I love what I do. I love making videos for you guys. And uh, you know, whether your response is good or bad, <laughs> it is what it is. I feel extremely blessed. So thank you for always uh, sticking with me. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. I promise. I'll be back soon.